Hello my fellow internet dwellers and welcome to another episode of Retrospects. This is our final episode on the evolution of architecture. In our previous two episodes, we discussed how architecture evolved during the ancient world and during the Middle Ages. In today's episode, we shall focus on how architecture evolved in the modern world, beginning around the time of the industrial revolution and going all the way up to today where we see architectural innovations all around us. So sit back get some snacks and enjoy the show picture this it's the post renaissance era and the world is brimming with classical inspirations think columns symmetry and grandeur but then the game changer arrives with the industrial revolution the industrial revolution shook architecture to its core thanks to ground breaking materials like steel and iron architects began to dream big one iconic example of this era's innovation is the Eiffel Tower in Paris a towering testament to how engineering transformed our world now let's dive into the far reaching influence of colonialism on architectural styles worldwide european powers left a deep mark on foreign lands merging local traditions with western designs take for instance india where you discover indo saracenic architecture a mesmerizing blend of indian and islamic elements with victorian design this fusion shaped by colonialism continues to influence architectural landscapes of many nations glimpses of colonial style architecture can be found all across the world blending the styles of the native region and the region that colonized it as the centuries unfolded the 17th century brought us the baroque era imagine grandeur ornate details and an affinity for the dramatic baroque was characterized by elaborate ornamentation bold use of curves and intricate detailing Baroque buildings often feature dynamic forms, ornate facades, and theatrical interiors, embodying the exuberance and power of the era's monarchs and the Catholic Church, like the Royal Palace of Madrid and the Saint Charles Church in Vienna. In contrast, Rococo emerged in the 18th century as a more delicate and whimsical style. It's recognized for its lightness, asymmetry, and profusion of decorative elements like pastel colors, intricate stucco work, and organic motifs rococo architecture exudes a sense of playfulness and grace emphasizing elegance and charm think delicate asymmetrical designs and the extravagant splendor of the palace of versailles it is a masterpiece of architectural opulence now let's venture into the 19th century this is where the gothic revival and neoclassicism gained prominence gothic revivalism A prominent architectural movement of the 19th century sought to revive and reinterpret the architectural styles of the medieval Gothic period. This revival was a response to the perceived loss of traditional craftsmanship and a yearning for the return to the values of the past in an era of industrialization. Inspired by the soaring cathedrals of the Middle Ages, Gothic revival buildings are characterized by pointed arches, ribbed vaults, and intricate tracery in their windows. Prominent examples include the Palace of Westminster in London and the Washington National Cathedral in the United States. The style not only brought a sense of romanticism to architecture but also influenced later movements including the arts and crafts movement and the emergence of American collegiate gothic style in the early 20th century. Gothic revivalism stands as a testament to the enduring fascination with the architectural and spiritual legacies of the medieval past. Neoclassicism in architecture prevalent from the late 18th to the early 19th century was a reaction to the exuberance of the baroque and rococo styles rooted in the revival of classical greek and roman architectural principles neoclassical buildings are characterized by their symmetrical designs use of columns and pediments this style exudes a sense of balance order and rationality reflecting the enlightenment ideas of reason and intellect Iconic neoclassical structures include the Parthenon in Nashville and the United States Capitol in Washington DC. Neoclassicism has a lasting impact on architecture, influencing the design of public buildings, museums, and universities, and continuing to be celebrated for its timeless elegance and association with democratic values. Art Nouveau, a late 19th to early 20th century artistic and design movement in Europe and the United States is characterized by its distinctive features it emphasizes organic and floral motifs 
characterized by sinuous flowing lines and intricate ornamental detailing. Styled depictions of nature and an embrace of asymmetry set it apart from previous design conventions. Art Nouveau incorporated various elements, including stained glass and wrought iron, influencing multiple art forms, from architecture to interior design to graphic design and fashion. Notable artists and architects associated with Art Nouveau include Alphonse Mukha, Gustav Klimt, Victor Horta, and Anthony Gaudi. Although a relatively short-lived movement, Art Nouveau's impact on subsequent design styles such as Art Deco and its boundary-pushing influence in decorative arts and architecture continue to leave a lasting impact on the world of design and aesthetic. The 20th century was an architectural roller coaster. Modernism took the world by storm with its clean lines and minimalism. Modernist architecture or the international style emerged in the early 20th century, prioritizing functionality and simplicity over traditional ornamentation. Architects aim to efficiently serve a building's primary purpose, embracing new materials like steel and glass. The designs featured clean lines, geometric shapes, and open floor plans that promoted adaptability and interconnectedness. Horizontal and vertical emphasis, along with abundant natural light and ventilation, defined the style. Rejecting historical conventions, modernist architects sought integration with natural environment. The movement celebrated an industrial aesthetic and influenced architects like Mays van der Rohe, Le Corbusier, and Frank Lloyd Wright. Iconic examples include the Barcelona Pavilion, Villa Savoy, and Falling Water, leaving a lasting impact on contemporary architectural design. But hold on, there's more to the story. Enter Art Deco bringing with it a symphony of elegance and geometric patterns. Art Deco is a distinctive and influential design and architectural style that emerged in the early 20th century, reaching its peak of popularity during the 1920s and 1930s. It is characterized by a combination of various artistic and design elements that create a unique and often luxurious aesthetic. Some key features of Art Deco are geometric shapes, luxurious materials, bold colors, ornamental detailing, streamlined design, symmetry, and balance, and influence on multiple arts, along with a global appeal. Art Deco was a response to the excess of Art Nouveau movement and sought to convey a sense of modernity, glamour, and optimism in the wake of World War I. Its influence can still be seen in many contemporary design elements and continues to be appreciated for its distinctive and timeless aesthetic. High-rises and skyscrapers made their architectural debut in the late 19th century, transforming cityscapes and urban design. The pioneering home insurance building in Chicago, completed in 1885, marked the first use of a steel skeleton structure, a pivotal innovation. This era saw architects like Louis Sullivan shaping the ornate Chicago school style. New York City contributed iconic skyscrapers such as the Flatiron Building and the Woolworth Building both showcasing heights beyond previous limits. The Empire State Building, completed in 1931, exemplified Art Deco and set records in its time. The post-World War II era brought a construction boom in the international style, with structures like the Lever House and the Seagram Building. The mid-20th century saw sleek glass and steel skyscrapers emerge with innovations like curtain wall systems. The late 20th century onward brought even taller and environmentally conscious skyscrapers including the Petronas Tower in Kuala Lumpur and the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, now the world's tallest building, shaping contemporary urban landscapes with architectural innovation. And let's not forget about postmodernism, where eclectic designs and a playful mix of historical styles redefined the landscape. Postmodernist architecture, emerging in the late 20th century, offers a stark contrast to modern principles. It warmly embraces historical references infusing buildings with an eclectic element, playful ornamentation, and a sense of irony. Pop culture, humor, and a contextual approach influence its aesthetics. Postmodernist architects draw from a diverse array of architectural styles and incorporate symbols and metaphors for added depth. Leading architects like Robert Venturi and Michael Graves champion this style, 
exemplified by structures such as the Piazza dell'Italia and the Portland Building. This movement challenges the uniformity of modernism, encouraging a rich tapestry of architectural expression in the late 20th and early 21st centuries. Here we are in the 21st century, where architects are pushing the boundaries and embracing sustainability. Contemporary architecture, which encompasses a wide range of styles and approaches, is a reflection on the diverse and evolving nature of today's design. It emphasizes innovation, sustainability, and adaptation to the needs of the present. Contemporary architects often use cutting-edge materials and technology to create structures that respond to environmental concerns and the evolving social dynamics, resulting in buildings that are both functional and aesthetically intriguing. Surrealist architecture, on the other hand, is a niche within contemporary design that draws inspiration from the surrealist art movement of the early 20th century. Surrealist architects like Salvador Dali and Frederick Kiesler sought to challenge conventional architectural norms, creating the structures that defy gravity, logic, and the constraints of reality. And don't overlook the surrealist architecture that blurs the line between dreams and reality, such as the mind-bending works of architects like Frank Gehry. These designs feature dreamlike and often whimsical elements, such as melting facades, fantastical shapes, and unexpected juxtapositions, blurring the lines between tangible and the surreal. While not as prevalent as other contemporary styles, surrealist architecture offers a fascinating exploration of the boundaries of architectural creativity and the intersection of art and design. And that concludes our retrospective on the evolution of architecture. Please like and share this video if you liked it and comment down below about any topic that you'd like us to cover next. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such content. This is your host, Aryan Sharma, signing off.